When I was at the Hacksmith's place, we did a battering project, and in that battering project, I made a catapult that would throw them faster than we could. I filmed that whole process to make a video out of it and finally got around to doing it, and I took all of your suggestions from Instagram on what I should use to test it. Here we go. Because James has all these fancy machines in here, I need to figure out what I'm going to use to actually build this batarang launcher. But I'm still going to do it in my typical style, uh, scrap junk. I'm going to use the CNC to cut out the pieces that I need for the flicker. I could do it without it, <laughs> but it's a lot faster to use that than to use an angle grinder. This thing works so quick. I've already got my parts. Awesome. <laughs> Here to hold it. We'll have to put cinder blocks on it to hold it in place. So, not cocked the whole way down, but. Beauty. <laughs> yes! <laughs> These will hold tension on this bar. It won't break this bar off from its little weldy spot there or bend it. Put the little block right there. I can put a pin through as a safety so that it can't come out. To set it off, all you do is pull that out and they have enough of an angle on them that they spread apart and it lets go of it. That's your safety pin, right? I can't set it off. Going on an adventure. It's time to get some stuff to launch. Can't find any pigeons, but it's a bird, so it'll have to do. Are you recording? So we figured we'd stop here to see if we could find pigeons, and lo and behold, they're not made out of clay but there's two rock pigeons. I took all your suggestions on Instagram from the post that I made, and now it's time to test this thing. Here we go. What should I do first? How about the old YouTube standby? Watermelon. Three, two, one.
<laughs> it went somewhere. I had a feeling the watermelon might be a little bit heavy for this. I don't have the tension set the whole way. This thing jumped around a lot too whenever I launched this, so I'm gonna throw some cinder blocks on it. That way my GoPro doesn't fall off. Let's go for something light since we just did something heavy. I actually planned for this because I had a feeling that it might carry enough momentum that it threw things into the ground. So I made a retention strap so that it actually kicks it forward. That cinder block you're sitting on is going to be the retention block. Ready? Yep. Go! It needs to be a little further back, actually. That should be good. I hate eggs, so let's do eggs. What? Eggs. Well. Right. It got there. Our angle's right. He asked for tacos, but I'm not gonna waste good food. We'll use something that's completely worthless instead. Soft tacos. Taco time. Banana with razor blades in it. <laughs> I didn't suggest it. Danger banana. It's still shooting too straight. I think I need to move these back even further. More tension. Dominoes. Go. Now real pizza. Wrench. Might have lost that wrench. My friend maker in training requested clay pigeons, but not actual clay pigeons. Pigeons painted like clay pigeons from a thrift store. I know this is a swan, but they told me this is a Canadian pigeon, so. Pull! You say pull for clay pigeons. Snapper poppers. Whoops. <laughs> My hand is gonna be bruised after today from setting up this launcher. Here we go. That was actually pretty cool. Time for toast. And Ian is gonna try to catch it in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Ultimate toast launcher. Ian catcher in his mouth -er. Take one, go. <laughs> you want to do it again? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Ian got so close on round two. He wants to try it again. Ready? Yeah. It looked like you were really close on that one. I thought you were gonna get it. You suggested a clay disc, but I didn't have any of those. But somebody said wooden batarang. I combined the two clay batarang. Ready? Yeah. Oh, hit the wall. We've got one more thing to try. 75 pound Thor's hammer. It's starting to fall apart from all the tests that they've done with it, but we're gonna try to toss it with this thing.
I could turn it up, it's just, it's still not gonna throw this thing. Thor's hammer just weighs too much. I hope you like my launcher made entirely out of scrap junk. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you wanna be able to give me suggestions on what I should do on projects in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh,